Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be looking at the top 10 tweaks from Cydia. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have ProTube. Now what ProTube is, is a YouTube alternative to the one that you can get from the App Store. And I do prefer this one from Cydia over the one from the App Store because you have more options. For instance, if you click this button up here, be taken to a page where you can access your videos, your inbox, history, playlist, subscriptions, your favorites, settings, and more. Clicking on the home button will take you back to all the most recently uploaded videos from the people you're subscribed to. If you click the down arrow over in the right hand corner, you can save the video or get the URL. And if you click on a video, let me find one to use as an example. I'm just going to select one at random. So let's go with this one. If you click on the video, I do like this feature where you can hold down on the video and quickly get the URL to copy and send to a friend in an iMessage or whatever method you want to choose. It's just very easy to access and do. You can hit the magnifying glass in the right hand corner and search through YouTube as you normally would with the standard YouTube application. Coming in at number two, we have Folder Enhancer. I really like this tweak because it allows you to further customize your folders on your iDevice. So you can adjust the appearance by selecting it and you can choose the option to show the name of the folder, change the text color, or even change the background of the folder once it opens. So I changed mine to purple. And now when I go to my folders that are on my home screen, the backdrop of it or the background is purple. So I'm just going to go back into settings and you can see that you also have other options to enable the border, make it have round corners. So to give you an idea of how it will look without a border or rounded corners or even an image file, I'm going to turn everything off. And now if I go back to my folder, as you can see, it takes up the entire screen versus a portion of it. Something else that I like about it is that it also allows you to to put folders inside of folders which is a very handy feature when you want to clean up your screen. Like when you have a lot of icons and you have a lot of folders, it's convenient to be able to have the option to place one folder inside the next as I'm doing here. Coming in next, we have Respring Fast. Now it does just what it says. It is a Respring toggle on your home screen that allows you to quickly Respring your iDevice. So if I select it, all it does is respring my device and this is handy for when you've just installed a tweak and you need a way to quickly respring your device. You can use that tweak and it does move rather fast as you can see in respringing your device. Next we have a multi icon mover. Now this is a must have tweak for me especially because I'm always changing my themes and my layouts and what it allows you to do is move multiple icons at once. So in order to get it to work you're going to put your icons in wiggle mode and select them as I just did and when you hit the home button they will then move all of the icons you selected to the new home screen that you want them on. So I'm going to just do that again. I'm going to check off the icons that I want and you can even move them into folders by just simply pressing the home button after you select them and then they will go into the designated place that you choose. The only thing that I do not like about this tweak is that it does not move folders and that would be just completely awesome if it did but just to give you a heads up it only moves icons not folders at least to my knowledge it doesn't. Next up we have Lockwee and what it allows you to do is put widgets that are normally in your notification center onto your lock screen and access it where your clock is. So as you can see I'm swiping there's NC settings, there's SB center, there's some stocks there as well and then there is my weather widget. These are all widgets that I have installed in my notification center that I'm able to access now from my lock screen. In addition to that you're still able to click on them and scroll th scroll through them as you would if they were in your notification center. So as you can see I can still select if I want it to respring or power off and for my notification center I can turn my location on or off right here from my lock screen without ever unlocking my device. 
you do have the option to configure a few settings. So what you want to do is open it up in your settings menu and you can enable or disable lock Wii. You can add a border, a shadow, or double tap to lock it. That way it won't scroll at all through your widgets. And then you can choose which widgets you want to show in lock Wii. So if you want NC settings to show and natural weather notifications, then you can turn either or on or off to do so. Coming in at number six, we have Fusion. And what Fusion allows you to do is quickly post statuses to multiple social networks that you have. You have the option to enable or disable this, and you can set an activation method. Mine's is double pressing the home button. And as you can see, once I do, it brings me up to compose a new message from my Twitter page. So you have the option to add your location, an image, or even tweet about the current song that you're listening to. But if you look in the Fusion application, you have various plugins, and those are the networks that you can post to all at once. You have the option to rearrange these to your liking, and you can also click on one and, and enable it or disable it. That way, if you don't want to post to Facebook, but you want to post to Twitter and MySpace, then you can do so. I don't know who still posts or goes on MySpace. Not knocking it if you do, but just saying. <laughs> you have various options in each, and I'm going to let you explore that on your own and move on to the next tweak which is fast blurred background and it does just as it says it gives you a fast background for your notification center and it blurs it so as you can see when I pull down my notification center it quickly comes down and it will quickly go back up without any lag so this not only adds a blurred background to your notification center but it also allows it to move faster up and down and if you look closely here you can see the transitioning happening you can see it as it slowly begins to blur the background as you pull down your notification center. Coming in at number eight, we have volume customize. Now what this allows you to do is adjust the volume HUD by changing the color to whatever you so like. You can do so by using the RGB sliders and selecting if you want it to appear as a color or as a gradient. And you can even turn the opacity all the way up to make it more solid or more pronounced. Or you can turn the opacity all the way down to kind of make it invisible. So if I go further down, you will not see my hood at all. You have the option to choose random colors or a solid color right in here. Or you can use the RGB sliders to customize the color just the way you would like it. Next, we have info page. And what info page allows you to do is add custom text above your icons on your home screen. As you can see, I have page numbers currently. To change these settings, you're going to go into settings and open up info page where you have the option to disable or enable the tweak. You can also adjust the text color and you can change the value, which is how I got the page number. If you select on value, then you have the option to display your IP address or the available RAM that you have on your device. The only thing that I notice about this particular tweak that I do not like is that it seems just a little glitchy. For instance, as you see, I've changed it, but when I go back to the home screen, it still displays the page number. Now my workarounds have been either opening the application back up in settings and then going back out to the home screen or turning the tweak on and off until it displays the right text. And last but certainly not least, we have DreamCoin. What DreamCoin allows you to do is put a custom activation on an icon on your home screen. For instance, I set mine so that when I press on DreamCoin, it would give me the date. To configure the settings, you're going to want to go inside of settings and open up DreamCoin, where you can then select if it's going to display a new mail message, restart your device, turn your Wi-Fi on or off, or whichever you still choose out of the given list of DreamCoin. But that sums everything up, everyone. Please make sure you thumbs up this video if you found it helpful or you simply want to show your support. For any further questions, you can drop them down below or hit me up on Twitter at Tech Me Out. That's T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you can stay updated on future uploads. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.